Welcome back everyone to episode 5 of our City Skylines Let's Play. We are back in Twin Rivers and well before we get started I just want to thank everyone for all the kind comments in the last video and all the support in the past four videos. It really means a lot and I'm looking forward to making more content because I realize every time I open up a panel in this game there's just infinite amount of things to do and then I go to one part of the city and there's even more things to fix, four things I want to get accomplished. Anyways, I have a lot in store for this episode so you know sit back and enjoy but before we get started i just want to give a little rundown of what's going to be going on so in this episode i start off by tweaking a little things around the city there's just a few things that i wanted to fix when i get started and i read some comments for some advice on what to do in certain areas we also ran into a problem last episode with dead trees on top of the rolling river hills i got that resolved and explained what happened what the problem was luckily it was an easy fix we then look into expanding our path network and actually combining it to that middle island that is going to be where our major city is, you know, with our sky rises, uh, skyscrapers, everything like that. Uh, I think it's going to work out nice. Now, it was a little iffy getting this path and these bridges to work with that island, but I got it to work and I think it looks really, really nice. I couldn't use the one asset I wanted to use, though, so I'm a little bummed about that, uh, but we can see we can fit in elsewhere around the city. I then connected that over to our different districts and now it is, it is bustling. I'll give you a little spoiler, people are using this path like crazy. We then looked up into Rolling River Hills, did a little fix around there, and we just fixed around as much as we could. We added more to our industry and got a lot done. Uh, lastly, we're going to start our zoo. I think that's the one park I'm going to go with. I really love animals and love all uh, different zoos. I've been to a bunch around the East Coast of the United States. So I thought, hey, why don't I put a zoo in Twin Rivers? You know, it's my city and I'm really, really enjoying everything we have. And I think that's something our citizens would love. We also need a park and taking advantage of the DLC I got. I thought that was a great park to add. It's going to overlook our entire city and look really, really nice. And it's a bit of a surprise of how big some of the assets are. So without further ado, let's get started and continue on episode 5 of the City Skylands Let's Play in Twin Rivers. Alright, and we're back in the city of Twin Rivers. Just want to say welcome back everyone. We're here where we kind of left off last episode, placing down the tennis courts, soccer field, basketball court for a community center in uh, Rolling River Hills. Now, last episode I noticed there's a bunch of dead trees here. I ended up figuring it out. I downloaded the mod Hide It, which kind of gave me some clarification on what was going on. But eventually I just believe it was the tennis club having something with like a burn building or pollution or something like that. It was very strange, but all the assets had dead trees as well, which I found it very interesting. Anyway, it's resolved now. I replaced everything too, just to make sure it worked and it didn't happen again. Um, and I used the Hide It mod to hopefully uh, prevent this from happening. So it's looking really, really nice over here. And I noticed in the comments, someone mentioned the great idea of putting down, instead of this elementary school, I'm gonna take a look here. We actually have a better option for a more high-end charter arts school. And it's right, what are we looking at? No, this community school. I believe that's what we're looking at from the Green Cities DLC. I just was peeking at this. It's gonna fit perfect right here. So we're gonna plop this down and just take a look. Beautiful, exactly what I was looking for. Just something a little bit nicer, like a charter art school-esque for the uh, citizens up here in Rolling River Hills. Just ignore all the trash issue. Then there's a crime issue as well. Who knows, there's always issues around here. It's a it's an Ashram rule, let's play. Anyway, this looks very, very nice. I'm really happy with this. So we're just gonna get rid of this school. Um, probably should have looked at the stats of what was going on with it and just keep this up running because it is a small elementary school as well. It's only 250 students, um, elementary students. Okay, so that's the other elementary school we have. Anyway, I think that looks really nice here. I'm not gonna do anything yet. Maybe in the end of this episode, we'll add some more paths maybe for these hiking trails I was talking about, but I think this is fine for right now just to help with the education need. Before I go any farther, I just wanna do a little bit more tweaking infrastructure needs. So oh, I really don't like this lighting. Here, get a little darker. All right, so I wanted to take a peek at what we needed just so we can dive into another project. So we take a look at our vitals real quick. 
I believe power is doing great because we did add in this fantastic looking asset. First and grand power station. Water, we're doing okay. Sewage treatment is still an issue. Um, I guess we can resolve that quickly right now. Just get another. See, it's going up. Gotta make sure that's not happening. Maybe we'll go on this side. Can connect you up. And can we move? Oh, it, hmm. Pulls the water thing. Uh, but for right now, that's fine. We're gonna need power. Let's do something like that. Does that stay under? It does. You know, it goes through highway a bit, but uh, it works. It doesn't look too bad. So that's got power. So that should help our garbage, or sorry, our sewage treatment right here. Next, we're looking at is garbage. I think we're doing okay. We need more processing. Uh, maybe we we did. We got one of these plants. I don't know if I placed one down already, but we might as well get started and get this place down over here. Perfect. We got three of them fitting great. That should boost our processing status by a lot. I'm not sure if it's already done it. Yeah, there we go. Look, that's amazing. Uh, may, may cause a lot of traffic. Uh, we are going to have to expand our industry. Obviously, a very, very high demand for that right now. But let's just keep checking our vitals. Uh, education's looking a lot better for elementary school. High school still not great. I think maybe we can get a high school down in Spruce Square. Uh, university, we don't have any university yet, that's fine, because I'm going to look into the campus uh, DLC, and that's actually something we're going to look at this episode for maybe a foundation. So let's just get another high school. Let's take a look here, education, so community schools, this is an alternative to a high school. It's a prestigious school specializing in creative arts, an alternative to university. Um, I don't know. I guess maybe we should have a prestigious and we'll keep it down down over here somewhere. Maybe uh, somewhere near the park area. So let's just take a look at this terrain. This is a mess. I did not know I didn't catch this last episode. Do not like how steep that slope is. Uh, I think this would work really well over here. You know, if we just cut something out real quick. Whoop. Still having issues with frames. I thought I fixed it with the mod, but looks like I'll have to be dealing with it this episode a little bit more. We can smooth things out a little bit. All right, let's take a look. Still, still not the best when it comes to terrain. Maybe that's not a good spot for it. Why are we always having garbage issues? But let's just carry on. That is insanely prestigious. We're probably gonna end up moving this, maybe having its own little cutout in the hills over here, uh, maybe up up this way. That way it has a great connection to the commercial residence, residence over here as well. And then, um, you know, this might look better if it just connected right here. And then it has its own space. It's, it's just secluded. We'll probably have to connect a bus line up to this, but we'll just get this boosted uh, here to just boost the uh, education a little bit. Yeah, looking good there. Still no university. And might as well get a public library down. Probably put that in our old town over here. Not specifically the old town. This is a huge building. What the heck? Um, I'm actually probably gonna move this. to our, closer to this playground here. And then I think this is where our uh, public library can be. Can you fit you? We can make you work. How does that look? Honestly, that does not look bad at all. It is, what is up with this lighting? Everything looks so bad. There we go. Yeah, that fits pretty well, I think. No weird, yeah, this is awesome. This is just from the base game, I'm pretty sure. Um, 
but this will help us maybe make this like more of a strip. Maybe we'll have a walking path down here. Maybe, maybe we just have a center to our city. Uh, or at least our town right here. And then it's great. We also have a really nice connection uh, for people to get to the public library. Should maybe build some paths right here. So I think that's all we need for education. All the homes are going up. This is great. It's not, terrain's not a mess. Look at that. This has got a camper van going in. Nice, man. Thank you. Using the public library. The homes are, oh my gosh, they're getting big over here. right now all right so we have education down what else can we look at here that's gonna i don't know help uh what our city needs looking vitals happiness people are doing all right health care death care not great i think we have oh i don't know what we have here oh i didn't even notice these um I guess these are a few of the assets I got. I kind of forgot I had these. We did look at the graveyard already, correct? Oh no, we haven't. Uh, we can get another graveyard maybe set up. Uh, maybe we will have that. I mean, this terrain is kind of messy to build on over here. Let's see, let's... Over here, there's a lot of residents. We can put, probably get a way with a graveyard over here. Yeah, just something small, nothing crazy. Um, 1,200 can fit in here. Keep that for right now. We're kind of just placing things random, but I do plan on moving stuff. All right, so we take there. Death care should be all right. Child care is doing all right, and elder care is doing all right. I don't think we have to mess with that too much. Not a big deal, we don't use wind as much anymore how's traffic looking 82 percent it's really not that bad at all and fun fact i did go on an oval bout today so this is not too unrealistic it's a little oval i actually went on something that looked very similar to this uh looks like it's looking pretty nice everyone's still going this way though which makes sense uh and speaking of which we should probably start expanding our industry Something I don't really want to deal with, so we're going to quickly um, deal with this and just kind of build it out. I just want to make sure everything's covered here. Now, do we want to keep building out towards this way? That way more trucks and everything go down this highway? Or are we thinking building out this way so more trucks come over here? Hmm. Tough decision there. I guess for right now we'll do a we'll go over here and we can look at our industry road it's all the way at the end i believe there we go we'll probably just build this guy out here and here wow is the train really why is this I think we can go out a little bit farther here. That was maybe too far. Clearly I'm struggling. All right. This is the right road, right? Yep. There we go. Looks much better. We'll just fix the terrain a little bit. It's on a bit of a slope. We'll pull this guy up. And just fix it up a little bit. And then we can add industry. So you don't need that many factories to help the demand here, but I know we added a bunch of residents at Rolling River Hills, so it's gonna make sense that they need more goods for commercial use. We're also gonna need more commercial demand, but this is a good start. I just wanna make sure we can start our projects without too much delay. Um, I know the first thing they're gonna complain about is water. 
Got water, we have power, so that should help with that. And then maybe we will just take a look over here and see what we can do. There we go. See, I'm not the biggest fan of building industry stuff. I'm not really, I don't really know how I should be doing it or anything. Um, I guess we should probably build something to cut so we don't cause too much traffic over here. And yes. For now, we'll just do that, and then that should help our demand a lot. Oh, let's just make sure they have some water. And that should be perfect. We are having a crime problem, so let's continue looking at our vitals. So Pollution, yeah, this, this area is a mess here. <laughs> well, it looks like our whole bay is gonna be a mess. That's all right, we'll clean it up. We'll get the, the special thing that does the cleanup. Noise pollution, not too bad, not too bad. See, it's kind of away from all the people. These people, not so much. Bus station is pretty uh, noisy. Fire safety. So fire safety, fire safety. Did I end up, hmm, we should probably get some a fire department out here. Got a few new, yeah, let's take a look at this guy. Hmm, it's a little too big. We'll just stick with our Birmingham Fire Department. And we'll get them close to, probably get them somewhere over here. That way if they have Oh boy, that does not look good. All right, that's a little better. That's some messed up hedge work over there. But that's why they, if anything happens relatively over here, the fire department can take care of it. Let's take a look at police as well. I think we're just gonna need something small here, like a mini police station. Throw them right there. And how is health working over here? I don't have anything health related. Is there anything that work well in this area? I believe we're just gonna stick with the medic clinic. Uh, I need to check out these. These look really awesome. I didn't even, I wasn't aware of those. University hospital. Don't need that yet. I will just keep everything like that. I don't think we're gonna have much going on over here. It's just way too close to this highway. But people are being happier, these people are happier. That should help with our vitals a lot if we take a look here. Fire safety is low, yeah. Crime, low, we're gonna need a jail. Transportation, let's have a peek at the line. How's it doing? We finished this up last episode. Yeah, a good amount of people are using it. I think we can cut the budget back a bit to 18. I don't see any, a lot of full 30s. Uh, but it does look like people are using it. Yeah, there they are. Kids going to school over here. All right, I don't want to get distracted too much. I have a lot to do for this episode. And we'll just continue with checking the vitals. I don't think there's too, too many important things going on, mostly adults. So we got a good good mix of everything. I don't know what these mean. Oh, mostly seniors, okay. Um, not too worried about that. And districts. I think we should just have a peek, see any new policies. We have a lot now. So let's, let's look here. Um, we are gonna build a park this episode, so we are gonna have to look into this for Spruce Square. So I think we just might as well um, park maintenance boost. Uh, I don't know, we'll just do preferred parks for right now. Education boost. I think we should have that here. And we don't need that. For profit education. Reduces citizens. I'm not sure how we can look into that. 
taxation, I think we should do, don't have to worry about any of that. And yeah, I think that's that's fine. Right, boost connections. Also connection there, you can get a more vehicle carrying tours. Uh, I thought I'd do with more infrastructure, or sorry, more industry. Uh, why are we not enough workers? Uneducated, educated, well-educated. So am I hearing we need poorer people? Well, I guess not poorer people, less educated people, but um, hmm. I think we build too much residence or sorry, too much industry. But I think we can just resolve that problem quickly with some two lane roads. I'm gonna keep a gap here because I'm actually gonna have the path that we're gonna eventually connect later in this episode run up the middle here and connect us to the industry. And then we can just start building out to here. Boom. Bring our water pipes over. Hope everyone's enjoying everything so far. Make sure to get along with a little project started soon. Got our water there. And then we'll just build some homes. Uh, maybe we, maybe it's because we just added so much that like homes went up in value and then those people went to school and stuff. Or, oh, it's because we added this. This is going to be make educated teenagers. That's okay. We'll, we'll resolve that problem. I doubt kids are going to be commuting from here to that school, but I could be wrong. So I believe I got everything done that I'd like to for at least just checking on our vitals and our little tasks and stuff like that. So I'd like to just move on to um, a segment you'll see in the next few episodes. And it's just a, a thank you to everyone that's been commenting. I got a few new commenters in the last episode that I really, really appreciate. So I wanted to add your names to the roads. Um, so if we take a look over here, there's Daddy T Streets over here from um, last episode. I'm gonna take a look. We got Elsa Street. Just wanna put this, and we'll make it to D I Y or W O. So thank you. Appreciate the comment. Walnut Street, City Skylines really has original names. I'll tell you that. So I believe the commenter was Alfie. Appreciate it, man. And there's St. Francis. I hope I didn't go over anyone's street. How is there another Cooper Street? And then to Rob. I missed your comment. Oh, there it is. Missed your comment the other episode, but I really appreciate it. Like I said, anyone that comments my videos, I'll put you in a road and we can always take a look and see what's going on. There's St. Fran Francis Street, Paul Street. Look at the homes. A couple duplicates we got. Not very creative. Got our street right here. These these are some of the ugliest assets. I swear they're always backwards. We keep going here. Uh, what else we got? Prometheus Street. So anyway, yeah, just thank you for the comments and that uh, wraps up this little segment. I really appreciate the support and hope to see a few of you in the next uh, few episodes. All right, so let's see what else we're gonna go towards this episode. I think I'd like to switch over and get us ready to build out our Point State Park. Now, before I do that, I am going to do another time lapse. I do want to make sure I know where that one asset is that I loved. Oh, am I not going to be able to find it? It was a circular park. Maybe it's over here. No. Man, I wasn't. Oh, here it is. Okay. Ten tiles. So this park is going to be the centerpiece. It's probably going to be here. And then I, we're gonna have two paths here, right? Kind of make a point in this direction. Finished up with a triangle. This will be the circle in the middle. And then we'll have our connection from this bridge here over to here. And then one more bridge from here to here. And then my plan, oh, did I not zone this area? Oh, I guess we don't need enough residents yet. Um, we'll worry about that another time. Um, just extend this road before we get started. And right here, I'm getting distracted like I always do. 
All right, so yeah, so we'll have a radiator point, triangle connected, and then it'll connect to this, which will go then go this way. So we'll have like a centerpiece, but you're not gonna have to get off the beaten path to cross or anything. And then we're gonna have one more bridge over here to connect just a faster faster commute for anyone that's living over here and one walks, wants to walk to work or to go to the industrial park. So ignore public transportation or, you know, just get out, enjoy the bike rides. We encourage bikes in a lot of our um, areas. So without further ado, let's get started on that time lapse. All right, everyone, I hope you've been enjoying the time lapses. It's actually been one of my favorite parts to record because it's after the episode and I kind of know what everything turned out to be and where this went. So right now I'm just building the first extension of our path that is closest to the high school, kind of the main area of our focus lately. But I uh, extend the bridge over, it took me a few tries, but I got it started. And this is, this is where it gets funky. So this does not look great, I'll be honest, but I stick with it because I do enjoy it. And here is where I have so much trouble. I just cannot get this asset to work for the life of me because I realize I need a road connection. And I play with the idea in my head that maybe we can bring a road from the high residential area that will soon be here to connect to this. So I let it go, I keep it going. Um, should have not done that. It is just a waste of my time right here. So we are gonna kind of ignore this. Oh, I think I already gave up on it. Um, or no, we are trying again. Anyway, so I then want to build a more direct cut through. That way people don't have to take a roundabout and not a roundabout, a way around. And then once again, we're having trouble building this bridge right here. Looks like I start to get it to work. So we're going to bring it over to this district that is closest to our industry area. Now, what I really think is valuable is this district because it's you know, less affluent, it's more working class. We have the policy where it schools out, which means people are focusing on working rather than, you know, attending college, maybe even finishing high school. So this allows them to have an easy, easier commute than the other districts to this industry park over here. I then create some paths that will allow people to have a more direct access than just taking sidewalks or roads. Uh, I do have to fix them up because I think I just make them go straight through the uh, the road which is like weird with the UI and city skylines once again I'm just having some problems with the bridge as right now it is floating so um, that's a, actually a new infrastructure we figured out 2023 floating bridges for pedestrians and then I just want to make this as realistic as possible make sure there are um, you know something that it is supporting being supported by a support beam you'd say and I just wanted them to be have enough gap that it looks legit and it's not like they're actually floating. And spoiler, I do fix the floating bridge. Here I'm just testing the idea of just having uh, the park be a little more central. That way it doesn't look so weird with just like a random path and then it turns out to be a massive bridge over. I then figure out, hey, we can just find this asset and place it ourselves and get it plopped. So I end up doing that and just making it work. Just taking a look at everything, make sure everything looks nice and um, getting ready to place down more props for our park. All right. And now a commenter corrected me how to pronounce these. I believe you pronounce them as keys, which Please, once again, correct me if I'm wrong, or this can become a running joke that I do not know to pronounce these still. Um, I just started experimenting with them because it is something I want to implement in my city. I thought maybe this would be a good place to start. Turns out I was very much wrong. Uh, they don't really fit, and I thought, hey, let's just keep it with how the environment looks, the geography looks. I think it's still really, really nice, and maybe we'll just keep it natural on this side of things, and we'll have more developed um, areas off to the side. These are the roads I was talking about that maybe I get connected to that big circle park at some point. I don't think it's gonna work, so I just laid out a square foundation for what I wanna build around for these paths and where I want them to connect. Now I'm kind of thinking about um, an area in New York where it is, um, I think it's the Hudson uh, Park, I believe is it called? I could be wrong. Uh, it's it's one of the more developed areas now where they have residential and um, a lot of 
it's in Midtown, I believe. It's residential and more like trendy and upcoming companies, younger companies. And it's very close to this entrance for the parkway, or not their parkway, for their paths and their parks. Um, if someone can correct me what the name of that area is, I believe it's something with Hudson, Hudson Park, Shipping Yard, something like that. Anyway, that's kind of what I'm thinking about here. So this park is based off of State uh, Point State Park in uh, Pittsburgh or Point Park. Uh, now I'm just looking at different assets and different uh, props we can be using. I did want to place down the chirper balloon. Um, I just it's it's a really funny looking asset, and I just how love how it just randomly will float over my screen and just spook me. Um, I just found a better place to put it, thinking about these paths extending or possible residential zoning or commercial zoning. I want to take advantage of these parking lot assets. For some reason, it looks a little bit too barren to me here, but I think just having some right here would be nice. Now, I don't want to narrate everything I'm doing as it's kind of obvious I'm placing trees and different assets for the next little bit. So I just want to talk about the future of this Let's Play. Something that's been very overwhelming to me is I'll open up a panel and scroll and realize I downloaded a lot of mods or a lot of assets that I didn't think about. And with all these new DLCs, there's just so much to get to. So if you find these videos a little bit disorganized, please bear with me. I'm trying to get better at understanding what I want to get done in each episode, uh, what I want to talk about, and how to get to that point. Uh, this is when I start cleaning up the roads, by the way, because there's just paths right through the roads. Thank you, Anarchy. So yeah, just placing down some props. Um, now the rest of this episode, uh, we get a lot done. We get a lot of foundation started for different projects. That's something that I need while uh, filming these videos is I kind of just need a foundation so I get that push to start the project and do it right. So we won't completely finish this park here, but we'll at least make it nice. Happy, happy citizens will be here. They'll enjoy their time off, enjoy their days off. And it's a great connection to get from one suburb to another as well to the industry park. Had these really cool assets with the, uh, the trees. Now I don't have the prop anarchy thing and I try to do the collision thing, but I don't think it was working correct. Of course, my luck. Uh, but eventually we'll get that working so we can put the trees in those little plant holders. I do end up putting picnic tables here. I think they're really, really nice. You know, when I'm out and about, I always want to have a seat somewhere, eat some food. And this is a great spot to do that. Just right along the sidewalks on both sides, right near, I guess it's not too close to that commercial area. So maybe we'll think about putting a commercial area closer there. All right, folks, and we're back. So I hope the time lapse was something we enjoyed on this channel. I really enjoyed doing them. I know that one was a bit all over the place, but just part of me, my cat was bothering me a little bit. Cody decided to give him some attention. I was also struggling a little bit with these bridges, but I finally found a way to make them look pretty nice. They're all fairly level for the most part. People are enjoying them, it looks like. And this is exactly what I was looking for people to use this park as kind of somewhere maybe to meet up meet up with your co-workers and then you can cross over a lot of foot traffic here and you enter this really really nice park we have picnic benches for people to sit and eat come over and then they can enter this uh, little neighborhood in multiple ways we'll probably make this a main stretch for something could be homes but for right now we just have the path going through it now i don't know if there's a way to add crosswalks um I'm, I, if there's a mod, if someone has anyone uh, any ideas what I can do, uh, just let me know because I would love to add crosswalks right here. Uh, what does this do? Uh, I have no idea what it's doing. Anyway, I want to add crosswalks just so the people can continue going. If not, we'll just add little uh, bridges to connect the people. That way they can just have a straight shot all the way up to the industry and they have an option to walk to their, to their work, which I find super super valuable in a community like this where you can pretty much live over here grab on get on your bike and make it all the way down look just like this guy you can go all the way down this path right here cross over at this bridge which takes us to our new point state park cross over and then you're connected to this area here i think it's super valuable i know this has no no power, we'll fix this in a bit. This was just me getting a foundation for how I want this area to connect to our main city 
and what I'm thinking. This is this is the start of it all right here. These these little homes, they will start our city. Maybe we'll keep this and have it like an important area or part of a zoo or something. It'd be really neat. I also added the chipper balloon tours. Thought it looked nice over here. I just love seeing a tripper fly around a little bit, go absolutely nowhere near our city. I have him disabled though, because I can't can't do the tweety noises anymore. Anyway, so let's keep it going here. Uh, I just want to make sure I'm getting my recording in. And we are back. We got our public library looking very, very nice. So I think something that we can just look at, just to switch it up from doing parks for a little bit, is just look at our old uh, districts and see if there's anything we can do, anything we add. I see commercial and industry is still an issue. So maybe let's take a look. Is there a way to look at just commercial zoning? Hmm, I guess you just go. So let's take a look here. Blue, blue, but why is this house always a problem? I think we could do with some more commercial zoning over here. Oh, there's a police problem over here. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we're making really good money, so what we could do is move over to our police station for. Oh wow, the schools where costs. What is that? The fire station and the police station. The fire station's in the ground practically. You know what? Let's just come here and raise the budget of police a little bit more. I think 120 sounds pretty good to me. Don't think we have to take any loans at. Taxes is looking pretty nice. We are making some great money here. And let's think about future expansion of districts and things that we can just clean up. So there's a lot of unused space I see here. And some recommendations I had was making residential like paths. That's my favorite, creating paths between these homes. So I'm not sure if it would work right here. But maybe let's take a look. Oh, it's pretty tight over here as well. But even like right here, it's a nice path to connect the community. And then we can probably get our D zoning. D, that's fine. And then kind of maybe uh, spruce it up a little bit, get some trees. Trying to get trees with the uh, similar feel around here. Hope this doesn't become an issue when they get to be bigger homes. Uh, but maybe just some pedestrian paths just to connect people, have a backyard. This might be a little dangerous for crime and stuff, but I think it'd be really, really nice, especially as we become a little bit more urbanized over here. Anywhere else we can uh, throw down a path, ease ease the traffic. Wow, it's really tight over here. Um, don't think so. We have to figure out, there's a lot I don't know what to do with my space. I get very uh, stressed out. We have this little nightlife area. I don't think this is actually beneficial to our town whatsoever over here. Um, hmm. All right. So then let's go into my next idea, which is actually using the parks like they should be used. If we take a little look over here, no. We have all these right here. We have tourism and leisure, other parks, sorry, city park, which is not what I'm looking for, amusement park, zoo, nature reserve, boom, park maintenance. Park maintenance, park maintenance vehicles are sorted and retain the park maintains vehicles to run boost the parks increase their empty. All right, pedestrian areas and pedestrian area plazas. This I guess would be more city, and this would be interesting. I'm gonna have to read into this. Small pedestrian area service point distributes goods and collect garbage from buildings on pedestrian street. It's a limit for us to make sure you have enough service points to handle the needs. All right, interesting. Well, I think what we can start doing is maybe we will have this be our zoo. I've never built a zoo. I thought, hey, 
let's not keep it in the main city. Let's keep it maybe outside. Uh oh. Okay, it's still that issue still. Uh, garbage is a problem. That's fine. That's fine for right now, I think. Maybe not. Maybe that's not fine. Let's quickly fix this. Man, this game is endless. How? Uh, why can I never find where garbage is? Here we go. We'll just add a few more of you guys. And... Beautiful. One more of you guys. Nice little landfill in the mountain. Oh god, that looks so ugly, that direction. Anyway, this is going to be the pretty uh, area. I think we maybe we can build our zoo up near here. So my first thing I'm going to do is scratch this road and take a look at our terrain. There might be a lot we have to do, so I think just to get started, you come over to here. Oh, I think you district. Let's take a look here. Pedestrian, park. Huh. Maybe it's park area? And I kind of have the zoo be up on this hill a little bit. Prospect Park. Okay, this is not it. How do I place a zoo down? Hmm. Oh, I did I not scroll over? Maybe because I needed to put the park down? Oh, oh, I'm oh, we are being dumb. Scratch this back, folks. I was right. You paint a park area. So we'll come up here. We'll probably do something like this. We'll build this chunk in our zoo. Probably not enough space from what I've been seeing the zoos are like. And we will call this animal. Whoa. We won't call it animal ethics. We'll make sure there's animal ethics. Might be a little bit. We'll call this the Twin Rivers Zoo. I like that. I was originally going to make this like a public space. Like kind of this grand, like a central park idea. Obviously not as big a scale or in the skyscrapers or anything but i think just having the zoo overlook a lot of the city would be a lot bring a lot of tourism it'd be really really cool um i think the first place we have to start is we're gonna have to figure out parking now if one of these roads are gonna be what's pulling us into the city it maybe shouldn't be off that road i think this is the road i'm gonna be having to pull into the city one here Mini one here, I think. One here, one here. So I think we will come up here. Zoom in gate, small zoom in gate. All right. Hmm. Well, let me quickly uh, fix the terrain and then we will get back to this because I realize this might become an issue. All right. So I just wanted to mess with the terrain a bit, which I did made it a little smoother to get us started, but I also just moved the charter. Uh, I guess this is going to be a charter, Institution of Creative Arts High School. Uh, almost has 800 students, which is looking great. I just moved this to its own little space. That way it is at the bottom of these rolling river hills, so it's still here and it's still like the students that are able to afford to get to it can come here. Put some parking lots. They're kind of on a slope, but it still looks pretty nice, especially from above. I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, maybe I could pick up this road a little bit. Just make it look a little bit uh, nicer. But I, I don't think it's too big of a concern. Uh, we still have our bike lane roads coming here. And then I made this really cool road that way just one car comes over. I guess this isn't cool because you're not going to be able to... Huh, you're not going to be able to uh, cross. So maybe we will just... Um... 
upgrade these so the medians are just, you know, as you enter. Uh, maybe it just keeps the traffic separate a little bit. But that way, I, I don't really understand how these parking lot assets work because there's no way to get to it. But that's, that's not the problem for right now. Right now, we are going to start our zoo and get this episode continuing. A lot, of, a lot of traffic over here. So we have our zoo painted. The Twin River Zoo. And there's one elephant for animal ethics. Perfect. We are then going to head over to zoo and we are going to start our zoo main gate. It does come with a parking lot, but we're going to want this somewhere that maybe will have its own traffic. Now what I'm thinking is we take advantage of these two lane roads and we build like a, we build like something, holy shit, I'm sorry boss, I didn't mean to do that. We build maybe its own road that are just dedicated for the zoo only. Then we even build parking lots right here. Um, easy access for food, options for people outside not to have just the zoo's food. Always been a frustration of, me, of mine when I go on trips, you know, like sometimes if you don't pack, you're, you're stuck with what's what's given. We put our zoo entrance, zoo entrance nice near the top. Boom, there we go, congratulations. Twin River Zoo has reached level one. The following buildings have been unlocked. Wow, moose and reindeer enclosure, zoo side gate, zoo souvenir shop, antelope enclosure, Zoo restrooms, birdhouse, zoo cafe, zoo plaza. So I'm definitely going to a birdhouse. Obviously everything else, but birdhouse is one of my favorite. And then I think an antelope enclosure. Or I guess we should do moose and reindeer for the kind of climate and area we're in. Okay, so we got a little bit of parking here. We're just going to take a look and see if we can mess with the terrain a little bit on this. We might need this road to come up a bit just to make it look a little bit nicer. Yeah, that's fine because then maybe we'll have our. Well, you know what? We're probably going to hide a parking lot somewhere here or a parking garage. For right now, this should work. Oh, I guess we'll maybe have our path come up here. That actually be really, really nice. We have just a nice path uh, that allows people to, you know, keep keep the connection going. If we head over to our zoo options. We now have our zoo path. So if we follow terrain, we're probably gonna want some exhibits here, you know, build build the zoo fence. Maybe we have that come down here. Can we get you to not do that? Does it have to, is this the district? Does it have to? No. Hey. I need to figure out how anarchy works. Let's see. Is this anything? I think this just allows me to build where I want though. We'll put trees along that to make it a little, little bit nicer. The grass is peeking through, but that's okay. Let's get back to this path. We're gonna start with a nice bend. Maybe we'll have an easy bit off to here. We're gonna have, kinda have this like S down. Just like that. And maybe we could have our first exhibit right here. So that's the plaza. We're gonna put that cafe, souvenirs. I think the, wow, this is a, okay, these assets are way bigger than I thought they were. Yikes, and they have to be off the path. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's not gonna work as we thought it would work, huh? 
So the bird cage, we could probably have that. We could probably have that all from the mountain somewhere. Maybe that's your first exhibit you see. Man, that was much bigger than I thought it'd be. I'm, I'm a little stressed out now. That does not work. Okay, this is this is these these are bad ideas. I can't even control to you. Oh, well, maybe we'll just. I have an idea. I feel like this episode has gone long enough. Is this the zoo path? Nope. How do I use the zoo path? Maybe we will just. Bring you out and have the first exhibit right here. Nice, there we go. Okay. It's this terrain, man. It's gonna be a struggle over here. What is this guy? He's running around doing cartwheels. Yeah, maybe so you, you kind of have a peek at it. You like look over it. That looks, that looks nice. We should probably have a souvenir shop, maybe some restrooms first. We are gonna need water on this property. Should be good. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just get the necessities then. So park, main gate, small main gate. Does this mean you can leave? Or can you not leave? Is there no gate? Hmm. Well, I think we should continue with the layout, folks. Whoa. Oh, you, you gotta be kidding me. That was a scary noise. All right. I think we'll continue it like this. And then we kind of need like a main section. But let's see what our other exhibits are in the meantime. Moose, bird cage, antelope. All right, we just need to go down a little bit. So from the bird cage, you can hit the antelope. And... Why do these things make the weirdest noise ever? And then we should probably have another exit somewhere over here so what i'm thinking is we what's this zoo cafe small zoo main gate i don't want another main gate i want a side gate could this place already occupy what does that mean building must be placed roadside Is already occupied. Interesting. Is this the reason why? Oh, well, I guess we're gonna have to have a, another way out of this. I do want to wrap up this episode. He will get us. Nice. 
So, okay, this isn't looking too bad. So now you come in, you follow the loop, you see the birds, you see we got the antelope enclosure right here, and then you have your way out. A lot of the houses are upgrading over here, which is great. It's gonna boost our population. We're almost at 10K right now. Um, I think this looks super, super nice. So I see how far we're into this video. All right, and let's just continue the fencing and then we'll probably wrap it up. looks atrocious it's all right you know not everything can be perfect and this doesn't really block anything because people over here can see the people down here what the heck is that Ch chirper mascot hello oh look we have people park area info so we want to have animal eth ethics advertise the park throughout the city that's costing a lot of money Main park, mark the park as the main attraction to see make more traffic. They have several parks this policy after they're equally attractive. That's good to know. Fine for fireworks. Um, fireworks shows in the park every night. Fireworks are going to delay after sunset instead of every week. That's not really worth it. Visitors can see the park nighttime on special. I like night tours. That's pretty cool. I feel like a nighttime in a museum would be really, or it's not a museum, a zoo would be really spooky. Nah, uh, that's okay. We don't need to worry about that. We don't need to worry about that. So we are currently, we can notch this down to $6. Income expenses. That's all right. We're losing. Maybe we shouldn't do that. All right. Let's not change anything. So we'll keep it at six. No maintenance. Uh, we have 38 out of 500. So we have a little bit to go. But we've got it started. I don't know. I, I really like the idea of maybe having a zoo out here. You know, we have it go through all these hills and stuff, and maybe over here towards the school. And then that's kind of like our big attraction. And I don't know. It usually, sometimes I feel like we see smaller zoos in big metropolitan areas like this over here. Dude, of course there's crime. There is literally. <laughs> this is what's wrong with this game, guys. I look around and then I get distracted really easy, but. I don't, the chirper balloon tour is gonna rob because once you're in the sky, the guy can rob you and throw you off into the water and he's taking the balloon, he's hijacking it. Look, he's not even anywhere near the city. Ridiculous. Not my problem though. Anyway, the zoo would just be like a really nice thing to have on the outskirts, kind of overlooking everything. We got some pedestrian area stuff. Uh, I just thought it was a nice little thing we are gonna add. So I think I'm gonna wrap up this video. I just wanna kind of go over the progress we made. So a little thing I did off camera was just kind of move our institution of creative arts over here, giving us another high school and more educated workers. Speaking of which, I think, yeah, I think they're done complaining about workers because we expanded over here. We also uh, placed a community school up near our community center for Rolling River Hills. I fixed the trees. I think it looks really nice up here. We'll keep adding stuff as the neighborhood becomes a little bit more wealthier, a little bit more affluent. We'll also probably have to look at traffic here. Now this is gonna be a spoiler for next episode, but I needed some more time to look into this, but I did get some golf course assets. Um, not sure where they would be, but I do have golf course assets somewhere. I think they're over here. Scroll, no, we'll just do a little search. Uh, I think we gotta go. Course, nope. Okay, I definitely have golf course assets somewhere. I'm not sure, but I was playing with it a little bit. I think I feel confident to start the next episode of Rolling River Hills Golf Course. I think we should have a really fun name for it. So if anyone in the comments wants to put a name in, let me know and we'll have it roll down this river. No pun intended. Um, we also just uh, finished our path, made Point State Park. They're upset, but we will work on this. And I think we'll probably start building our bridges out next episode as well to get some more residential. And we just need a lot of commercial and I'm, I'm not really build, big on building commercial and industry zones. So I'll probably just use the high end commercial buildings to help with that. And we can also build a, maybe an office zone, maybe our own Wolf of Wall Street area. 
I think that'd be really neat as well because this island is big. We then connected this over to our industry park and our less affluent homes, a little bit on, the, you know, um, just the different side, more working class, focusing on work over um, school and everything. Just saw this, a Walgreens popped up. I think that looks awesome. Great asset right there. Having some fire issues, that's all right. We didn't do too much over here. We just span expanded the industry in each direction, fix up trash. So all in all, not too much of a crazy busy episode. I feel like I was a little bit all over the place here. I'm a little bit organized with my thoughts more, but if everyone's enjoying the content, I don't want to change too much. And I really just wanted to get more episodes out for you guys when I can. I'm appreciative of all the support. And I, like I said, if you comment, you have your name, owner of the roads forever in Twin Rivers, and we can keep an update on what's going on in the road. Um, all right, a lot of problems are popping up, so I'm probably gonna call the episode here. I just want to thank everyone for checking out my channel, checking out this Let's Play and sticking around for a few episodes. I really, really appreciate it. And let me know if there's anything else I can do different, a different flow, organization, if I should be editing more, different kind of style for these videos. Just give me a heads up and I will work on it next video. All right, I'll catch you in the next one.